is the heart of it all. So, we have just arrived in Toledo at another Planet Fitness, of course. I'm about to make some some spam and cheese. So hopefully that's good. But I have just left Michigan for who knows how long. Actually for a month because I'm going to come back to camp with my friends in a month. But yeah, I just said goodbye to everyone back at home. It, it did get a bit emotional, but I've officially started my trip. So I'm about to make some spam and cheese, work out, go to bed. Tomorrow we're exploring Toledo. And then this video is gonna be for Ohio. Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. Good morning, y'all. We made it to Toledo. Got a big Medea parked up next to the purple lion and butterfly thing. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. But yeah, we have made it to Toledo, and it's gotta be one of the most dead cities I have ever seen. Basically, 12 p.m. on the 4th of July. But yeah, the plan for today is we're basically gonna just walk around and explore Toledo. <laughs> right across the street, we got cock. Oh, you guys can't even see it. We got the cock and bowl tavern. Cock and bowl torture. I think Ohio's fourth biggest city. It's not it's not looking very big. Like I know it's the fourth of July, but like where the fuck Where's everyone <laughs> like where's the city? Where's the crackheads? Like something. Like anything. So I just found a local around here, his name's D. He said there's usually not this many people around here. How long you been staying here? Seven? Is it nice around here? Yeah, go down there. There's people down there. Like, they got a splash pad and all that stuff right there. Yeah, oh, yeah? Go straight and go to the left. <laughs> I'll check it out. Thanks, okay. man. I don't think D wanted to talk to me that that much. <laughs> I started talking to him. He's like, yeah, go over there. The splash pad. He said the splash pad. That's a... I don't like this city. Shit's dead. There ain't nobody here and it smells like shit everywhere. The locals don't like me. I don't I don't think D wanted nothing to do with me. <laughs> so, I said, how long you been staying here? He said, seven. You wanna tell him your name real quick? Hey, let me let you guys know, Daniel Steele. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you what, American's number one bestseller. I'll tell you what, I sit here and read this book. I lost three brothers, three sisters, mom and dad. My son just passed away last year, but guess what? Mm. I have been in rehab for like about eight months. Really? It's been now, going good? Now, now I'm drinking now again because I fell off the wagon, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm alone. I've never been married. Uh, got about three girlfriends. They're all friends, so what? Friends in low places, whatever you want to call it, right? But yeah. to make a long story short, a funny story story, I'm going to tell you right now, I just met this young gentleman right here, and he kind of reminds me of my 18-year-old son, right? Very happy man. It's a fourth of July. What more can you ask for? I'm too mm -hmm. blessed to be suppressed, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you right now. You see me, I'm a hoopty doopty. Mm -hmm. That's my baby right there, right? Yeah, the bike. The bike's that's, always that's good. That's my baby, right? That's my baby. The bike's always it. fun to ride around. No, that's my baby right there, man. Yeah. She's my baby, right? And I'll tell you what, I'm having a cocktail right now. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding it, of course. Because <laughs> I don't want to get handcuffed. Yeah. Bender yeah. being done Well, before. shit, there's not many cops or people I around know, here, so. Sometimes we got to be so kind of like not disrespectful type yeah. thing, right? Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah. I got one thing to say to you, my friend. Look What's that? This. How beautiful is it today? Mm, and for a young man like you, what are you doing? Wow, I can't. I love it, though. I, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, man. It's kind of cool. This is the first, this is the first, uh, my first stop of the trip. Is it really? Yeah. I got a brand new car, new Jeep. I mean, so the bikes are sweet, though. I had one. Dude, riding a bike is a beautiful thing. Because mm -hmm. you know what? It keeps you mm -hmm. 63 years old. 
Yeah. Dude, I still got a six pack. <laughs> I still got a little pipe on. Go. I still got a little yeah. pipe. I still there got a little go. pipe. Oh, but you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. Mm -hmm. You know, this book right now I'm reading about is the same thing about people traveling, right? Mm -hmm. Daniel still, she is the shit, man. She, I love her. Man, that's my baby, right? She my baby. She got my heart, right? I read her, and I got two more books in here. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, my brother. Your freedom, your happiness, as long as you got legs and your health, mm -hmm. this right here don't mean shit. Money don't mean a damn thing, dude. Mm -hmm. You could say, gosh, I got a million dollars. Guess what? I had my uncle, $750,000. He went to Australia to save himself from cancer. Guess what happened? A week later, he died, right? $750,000 didn't mean jack shit. Guess what? The poor little Mexican, I got like about $15,000 in the bank. To me, that was a lot of money, I thought. Mm -hmm. $750,000. Jesus. You gonna spend that much money to save your life? No, gosh. I got Jesus Christ, man, dude. Never follow someone who's up. That's why they call me. Yeah, Spars is over. We're Spars, man. That, that's what you call the shit, right? And a bag of Doritos, right? Shit, don't even throw me some hot sauce on them motherfuckers. You know, I'll tell you what, woo, we'll be cooking like hot bacon, right? But I'm gonna tell you one thing. I love to see a young man at your age enjoying your life because you know, we're here today. You're only here one moment. Mm -hmm. And always remember one thing. I'm gonna tell you this story, man. And don't you ever forget a young man. What are you, about 16? No, I'm 21. God dang, dude, Jesus <laughs> Do I look okay. young? God, my God, Jesus. I, I look young. I, I look that you young. Was about as old as my grandkid, right? Mm -mm. Okay, to make it long story short, we're here today and gone today, but and you only have one moment every day, right? Mm -hmm. I had cancer. I beat it. Shit, there you go. I had a heart. Man, I had a heart attack. I beat it. And guess what? I'll be 63 coming up, right? Mm -hmm. Shit, you don't look this good at 63. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Grandpa's always got the big fat guts, right? But oh, yeah. got, look at this old man right here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I still got like 30 year old girls, 28 year old girls saying, baby, what's up, Poppy? I'll be like, damn, baby, you're old enough to be my daughter, man. I can't holler at you, baby. You just seem like the most happiest guy I ever seen. No, I swear to God, dude. I mean, I wish I had your teeth because they're real nice. Man, I never had braces. Are... Did you? I was going to yeah. say, God, I never seen teeth that pretty. Man. I'm like, saying, God, I'm not weird or nothing, man. But I, I, I don't want to show you my front teeth. I got to hide them because. Like, fell down and cracked them, right? Mm. So I can't show you my damn real teeth, right? <clears throat> but to make a long story short, happy, happy 4th of July. Do me a favor. You too, you too. Don't you ever forget, you met the Mexican. Yeah, all right. The Hell Godfather, yeah. the Hell Godfather. Hell yeah, God bless I'll remember you. it. God bless you, man. Have a good have day. A, have a good one. Thank you. Well, we finally met somebody in Toledo, and it was the Mexican Godfather. There's still nobody in these streets. I'm at some sort of plaza place thing. I don't know what it is, but it's right outside the Imagination Station. Apparently, that's a very big, uh, a very big tourist attraction, very big thing in Toledo. I'm not sure. Oh, it's right here. And I think this place is mainly for kids. So. I didn't record the first few sections because it was literally just straight kids. They got erosion over here. Let's see how that works. And they got the hurricane chamber. What is this? Strong category one hurricane. That was a lot of wind. Oh, they got the hamster wheel. I'm about to go crazy on that. Oh my god. Oh, I just left. And I somehow made it into the back rooms. What is up with this city and no people? 
Wait, there's people behind me. I don't know what it is, but there's like a lack of life just everywhere, even the stores. Where the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> like, am I allowed to be here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Get your ass out somewhere, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm leaving the back rooms and there's children at the front door. Dude, it smells like fucking shit over here. God damn, this city stinks. I'm in the middle of the street right now. No problem. I'm in the middle of the street. The church just finished its song. Ooh, what's that building over there, actually? That looks cool. So I found out what this building was. It's a courthouse. What's up? <laughs> you want one? Uh, nah, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm uh, touring around Toledo today and uh, oh. just, you know, recording everything. Is there usually, like, no people here? No. It's <laughs> not. I'm surprised. It's, it's well, weird. I mean, it's work. I come in, do community activist work, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's usually homeless or somebody down here. There's <laughs> nobody today. Yeah, I know. Okay. And I know that's good or bad. <laughs> I asked somebody else. They said there's usually never any people be here. But you said, I don't know. <laughs> I've only been here a year and a half, but I used to really? see people. But I know where people gotta be. The riverfront, which is straight down the street. Mm -hmm. You're definitely that, down there. Is that a nice spot? Cause I, I think I've been near there. Woo, nice, nice. Really? Right, I'll check that out. I took a lot of pictures down here, so. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Yeah. So that about wraps up Toledo. I didn't really walk around for too much or too long, but it overall, it's a, it's a nice city. It's really, it's a pretty city, at least. The rivers are a little dirty. And there's a scent of shit almost everywhere you go, which was a little concerning. Now, for the people I talked to, they seem to be pretty cool. But that's that was the one main problem. There was no people around. It is the 4th of July, and I don't think Toledo even planned anything for the 4th of July in the city. So I think everyone's just gone or not working. But that is it for Toledo, and it's time to go to Cedar Point, which a lot of you have probably gone. And I actually went two, three weeks ago with all my friends before my motorhome was actually finished. So I'm just gonna cut to that now. God. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, oh, don't make, don't make oh God. I'm actually afraid of I can't do this. I can't do this. Help. Last night, all of last night in this fucking bathroom, throwing the fuck up because of TGI fucking Fridays poisoned me and tried to kill me in my sleep. I got chicken and they tried to fucking murder me. Chicken, but I am. It's so hot. 
Kirk took no, the long no, way. No, please. Jacob, I don't consent to you putting me in, in any instead of, videos. Instead of going the same hey. way. Cut me out. So instead Thanks. of going Sorry. the same way to the park, no. he was like, let's go all around the park. So we went a full circle. I survived last night. TJF tried to poison me and kill me. I went back. They said, we don't care. But we're at the park. We just won the first ride. I'm feeling okay. How you feeling? Oh, I that's not what I thought you were talking about. Good, good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me right, give me right. Rachel, how you feeling? Uh-uh. What? <laughs> how you feeling? I'm feeling hot. I'm feeling thirsty. That's it? <laughs> okay. I feel good. You're not feeling freaky? Mm, it's too early. <laughs> My freak level is only at a two right now. Mine's at like a nine and a half. Damn. Out of what? Out of what? Out of 10. Oh, yeah, my freak level is 9.5 for sure. 9.5? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. What's your freak level at, Donnie? Mm, right now, about 9. I'm feeling real freaky. Wow. Yeah. It's not like me and him got something in common. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. 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 on the camera and say your favorite part of Cedar Point. He's gotta do the announcement. My favorite part was the fucking food poisoning I got. The food with balls. I don't know. My favorite part My favorite part was being burnt. Ow. My favorite part is seeing all these kids have a good time. Aww. Rude. Mm -hmm. What a pussy. My favorite part was the dip All the kids? My favorite part. My favorite part was when I walked in to the, uh, the bathroom and I saw Ryan wagging his little Ryan. That's it. My favorite part was when Jacob complimented me. Oh fuck, I didn't. My favorite part is when Rachel gave me attitude the whole fucking time. My favorite part was when we saw bro nodding off the fan. <laughs> my favorite sweat was is bullock shit fuck. Uh, my favorite part was when me and Jacob cuddled at night. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. what was your favorite part of Cedar Point? Uh, just uh, enjoying the rides and just having fun and drinking. Drinking? Yes, drinking. What was you doing in here? <laughs> Watching. <laughs> Why is your shirt off like that? It's always like that. <laughs> what, what you doing in here, boy? Nothing. <laughs> in the room all Yeah, out the whole thing. In, in the room all alone, boy. Yeah, out the whole thing for you guys to walk in and go to see. Yeah, if I were to do that, I would put her in a closed door and no one could see me. Feels like a smarty. Alright, I'll let you get back to your show. Why is the floor wet? I need the floor wet. What you be doing? I wasn't doing anything. Someone left their wet clothes here, so I had to move them over there. Yeah, Brennan was starting this shit. Back in the motorhome. I got some food cooking. I'm parked right outside Cedar Point. You can see all the rides. Hopefully, it's going to get dark soon. And we'll be able to see some cool fireworks. Fireworks just started at Cedar Point. You can see the skyline. Look how many people are here. Now that he got here, there was like one other person. And now there's a whole row. I think I missed the finale. Dude, there's so many fucking people. 
I'm trapped. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm literally trapped. I literally just gotta wait it out. Holy fuck! And now we end the night off with the Walmart parking lot with the truckers and one other RV. Good night, y'all. Doing our first fill up on the road. Gonna get some gas later, and then we're out to Cleveland. Cleveland! I'm actually just outside the city at a Planet Fitness. Parked in the parking lot next to the big old box truck. But right now, I'm about to go take a walk to the West Side Market. It's supposed to be a cool, kind of fresh flea market with food and stuff. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Easter Market back in Detroit. And uh, what's that one train station in New York? It's kind of like that. Should be it right there. They got like a bunch of Japanese stuff. Oh, like. Is that that? That's cool. Okay. Damn, they got this is all hot toys here. Three of one made. What the fuck is that? Samples. The fuck? It tastes like caramel apple. Can I get one coconut cluster? Ooh, it's cold. It smells fishy over here. I hate to smell fish, so I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, I'm scared. I'm about to get robbed. It's a cool ass little place. Well, I don't have my uh, fridge running in my motor room right now, so I can't really take any of the refrigerated stuff. Oh, it's all hummus. It's all ice cream. This shit looks good. Dude, they got everything. They quite literally have everything here. Damn, yeah, this car has been through a few patrols. They still got the Vic out in, out in Cleveland. I don't think it's in service, but I miss my car. This is what 39 years looks like. 39, 39 years together. <laughs>
Puerto that's Rican, a, Mexican. That's sweet. That's amazing. I haven't got cut yet. Want to try? Oh, those are good. What are these? What is this? Chapati lime. Corn? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, corn. Just corn? corn. I wish she sold a little bit. It's got a little kick to it. Man, that corn was delicious. It's corn. What's all, what's that all spicy stuff? one was good. Which one you want to try? Uh, the apricots. What's that back? Yeah, sure. Apricot. Do you have a try this one. What? This is like freeze dried or sun dried? It's sun dried with no sugar added to sugar inside. You try our strawberries before? Sun dried strawberry with no sugar added. We have here 26 different types of fruit. If you wanted to try any of them, can give you a taste. Please try this one also. Yeah, mandarin like orange. Wanna try? Yeah, what is this? This is a, it's dehydrated okra with tubers and sea salt. Oh, you said it's okra? Yes. It's kind of good. It's like oak chips, like healthy snacks. I thought I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Bro, she's just giving me all the samples. My, shit, my camera's about to die. This is our peach chips. Peach. Hmm. So we got the mango right here. Yeah. yeah, the mango's good. Yeah, the mango's good. This one with coconut and raw. It's homemade. Almond coated outside by blueberry jam. Try wasabi before? Um, like fake wasabi. Can try this one? Dragon one. Seven layers of wasabi and peanuts inside. Is that gonna kill me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, no. it's gonna kill me? No. No, I'm gonna try it. That's for you. Wait till your scared out. Am I gonna start crying? Yeah, maybe you'll cry. I don't know. You are trying to kill me. No. Let's suck it first, then break it. I don't trust you. No, trust me. Can I bite? Too much spicy in the first taste, and then that's it. Oh. Keep it, keep it, keep it. You can't break. You can't break it right now. I can. Yes. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a lot. Amazing. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. <laughs> yes. I thought, yeah. That's right, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Shit, thank you. Damn. Yeah, she just hustled the fuck out of me. Bro, she had me try so many samples, my battery died. And she gave me some water. So I feel like I had to buy something. She got my ass for twenty dollars. So we made it to downtown Cleveland. This place is way bigger than uh, Toledo. And I think this is the second biggest city in Ohio. So we should have a good amount of stuff to do. Well, it's confusing what to do. And I got a big tablet telling me what I can do. And activities. The arcade. Cool. Yeah, well, this thing's cool. It kind of sucks. I'm just going to find where to go on my own. This city's got a very distinct smell of black and milds with a hint of shit. Found stuff. Get him! Get him! Oh, he's just driving. Oh, that's what the jack is for. 
God. Just call my name. I need to gamble. The arcade. Man, this place is supposed to be really cool. Oh man, it's like a fucking library in here. <laughs> oh, but it looks cool. Damn. Why is it so quiet in here? I think it's supposed to be an indoor mall, but it's like a library. Oh, there's art. Maybe that's why it's quiet. There's art. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm in the back rooms again. So we made it to the Playhouse Square. Now, this is what I read online. Apparently, this is the second biggest entertainment district area. They said it's right behind New York, like Times Square. So we're gonna see how true that actually is. Somebody's shit's getting broken into. Oh, I, oh yeah, New York's got some competition. Mmm, look at those signs, yup. Watch out, New York. Ooh, is gonna beat your ass? Is that, who is that? Yeah, there's not much here for supposed to be an entertainment area. So I kind of just stumbled over here. I didn't even know there was a game happening tonight. All those people paying for a ticket. I got a way to watch for free. I think that about wraps up Cleveland. Overall, it's a very big city, really cool looking city. Instead of the continuous shit smell that was in Toledo, there's just a little bit around. You just gotta really look for it. But it really smells like black and mild here. Yeah, but a lot more to do than Toledo. There's a lot of people here, but not a lot of businesses. I'm not sure what that, uh, what was it? The entertainment plaza or the house, whatever the fuck it was called. There was nothing there. But overall, pretty cool city. How do I keep ending up in the back rooms? What is this? That's emergency. That's not how I go. What the f where am I? Look, my motorhome is literally right there. I just need to get there. It's right there. I can see her. Where the fuck am I? Help! Help me! Help! Park the nose. Oh my god. Oh my god. Park the nose. Please. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Yes. There she is. There she is. So I'm going through all the footage right now, and I didn't actually realize how bad the stock mic on this camera was. I'm using the shotgun mic right now that only records in one direction, and I thought the stock fucking Sony one would be fine because I keep, you know, switching back and forth, but it sounds like shit. So, sorry for the bad audio. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So, we have just made it to Columbus. It's supposed to be hot as shit today. So, I'm going to try not to die of heat stroke while I'm out recording. I think I'm at the town center. It's a really nice park right now. But this is the biggest city in Ohio. 900,000 people, damn near a million. So I hope there's 
at least something cool to do, or at least some people. So this is kind of the central hub of Columbus. I don't even know what building this is, but it is a pretty big city. They got some big ass tall building right here. And I don't know how to get in. I kind of want to get in. And there is a lot of statues. Doughboy? R.I.P. Doughboy. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. Maybe I'm just uncultured, but maybe I just don't know Columbus. It's probably both. You know, nice parks like this really just want to make me get a pack of ciggies, some beer, start day drinking at 12 p.m. right on one of these benches. All right, we found the entrance. Ooh. What's up? What's this building? see any you know like main plaza hub or entertainment hub so I think I'm about to take a 30 minute walk down to, to German Village that sounds very interesting I found a little event plaza that they got here almost looks like they got like a mini fair down there plenty of porta potties yeah that mini fair I thought this was it's really just merry-go-round I'm gonna keep walking in German Village. So I made it to the German Village, and it is quite literally that, just a village. There's really cool brick, brick paved roads, I guess you can call them. All the sidewalks are brick. Just nice, quiet little homes. I thought it was gonna be some like hustling, bustling, like Renaissance, Germany themed, like downtown, but no, there's quietly a restaurant and a, the Red Stable. There's just a little building right there. You got Schmidt's Sausage House, Sausage House and Restaurant. There's this building behind me. Let's go check it out. Schmidt's the Fudge House. Well, what happened was the this was settled by the Germans back in the 1850s, and um, they built uh, brick factories, two or three of them. And they laid all the streets, all the sidewalks, built the houses with the brick factories. But then 100 years later, after they had died off and their kids had moved away, it was all in disrepair and falling down around itself. So they quickly, they were, the city was going to bulldoze the whole 256 acres and tear down all these houses. So there was a preservation society that was quickly established. And they started like real low cost um, houses for people who wanted to come in and bring it back to what it was before. So they have pretty strict guidelines about how, like the wrought iron fences, and yeah, yeah you, you can't change the house. yeah you can't change the exterior. You can do whatever you want inside your house. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but the exterior they want to maintain Is it expensive that. Expensive now? Oh God. <laughs> yeah. It looks expensive. Yeah, people say, "Do you live down here?" I said, "Nope, can't afford it." <laughs> yeah, it is. The house on the corner there, that's, uh, it's over a million dollars, which really? to me is, yes. On that corner right there? Like yeah, that. Patty Corner. It's beautiful. It's, huh. yeah, it's beautiful. Um, but a lot of these houses don't have office of street parking, so they're, you know, bumper to bumper all the way down the street and stuff. But yeah. uh, it, it's beautiful. And it really yeah, is a beautiful. Cool. Have you been to the park? Over to Schiller Park? How far is that? A if, about a, a block and a half. If you go over one block to Mohawk, uh, and there's a good restaurant there, Mohawk, uh, the Mohawk restaurant. Anyhow, what do you think this one or that one? Better? Well, um, this is like real touristy. It has German food, really good, and even and it has stuff that is I know, things been driving me nuts. But I uh, know this is this is where everybody goes. That's where the locals go. So apparently, just that house right there is worth a million dollars, and somewhere at the park over there, there's a bunch of million dollar homes. But she said, uh, tourists go here and locals go to the place down there. I'm a tourist, so I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'm not going there. There's like 50,000 people, and it's probably like an hour wait. So we're gonna go down the street. There we go. That don't look too busy. 
So it's not very much German stuff, but they got a Reuben. The Village Reuben, I think I'm gonna try out. So I maybe ordered like six minutes ago and I already got my food. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's why you make a Reuben right there. So that was a nice little place, got a little Reuben, and the service was fast as shit. I, I literally went to the bathroom, she came out with my food, I was like, damn! But we're heading to the park right now. You got all the brick roads. You really unique house. They all are very kept nice too. You know, we had a good cafeteria. Fuck. And she said every, or not every, but most of these around here are at least worth a million dollars. So we made it to the park. There's a cool little pond right there. I wish I brought my fishing pole. Boy, I'd be catching something. But they got some little stage thing. Uh, some building. I mean, it's a park. There's trees. And I'm not sure what that statue is right there. But we're gonna go check it out and I'm gonna chill out. Well, it's a decently cool park, but I tried looking around online for things to do in Columbus and I can't find shit. Uh, I think the only thing that I can think of that I can record at would be the North Market. Uh, I think it's just called the North Market. Everything else is like museums and theaters and shit like that so I'm gonna take a scooter because I don't feel like walking 40 minutes and we're gonna go check out the North Market. You want it? You want it? Oh yeah. Go! You got the ball. You got the ball. It's a her? Yeah, her name's Jasmine. Oh! Got her. <laughs> Playtime's over. You got my hand slobbered up. Come here. Come here. No. All right, one more. Go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. You got me slobbered. Look. That's it. So I took a little jump right there. Just a little. That's that's probably like a fucking foot. My phone fell off, but it fell off the scooter. Hey, my phone's still fine though. But you can see we're basically at the market. And I forgot how much fun these fucking scooters are. So I'm riding this bitch on the way back and recording it. We got the North Market. It's probably just gonna be exactly like the Western or the West Side Market. I heart Ohio. Having so much fun in Ohio. I think it's like the west side market, just more corporate. Like shit just doesn't, it doesn't seem as fresh and unique here. Yeah, it's all like, I almost wanna say it's almost like fast food. You just more of eat here, you don't really get ingredients and everything. Found the second floor. I can't lie, it's nowhere near as cool as the West Side Market and uh, where the fuck I just was, Cleveland. Yeah, I think that's enough here. You know, for 900,000 people that apparently live in this city, where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> This is just Toledo. This is just a bigger Toledo with a few more people. Ooh, stairs. Ah, 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 ah. These are special made Columbus stairs. They're only made by one person because apparently nobody fucking lives here. I mean, it's a Sunday. But like still, it does, it, does the day really matter that much? Well, what's that? Take a self-guided public art tour. ColumbusMakesArt.com slash tours. 
So I went to that page I just showed y'all. It didn't even fucking work. This ugly ass bitch. This is what they got in Columbus. Are these your shoes? No. <laughs> so I've ended up at a place and I have no idea where I am. I think it's the convention center. And I think there's an event going on, so I'm gonna go check it out. So I, I ended up at a fencing convention. Oh, he got him. Get his ass, get his ass, yellow. Yup. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I got the blue shoes. I got the blue shoes, come on. Come on, come on. Ooh. I, I have no idea how I got here, but I think it's time to go. I don't think I belong here. Yeah, I don't know how I got there, but I'm gonna go and try and find the Arnold statue. And I think we might be done with the city after that. I found the Arnold statue. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Oh yeah, boy, look at that bicep. Mm. Do I look like him? Do I look like him? Do I look like Arnold? Damn. Come on, man. I'm Mr. Olympia material, boy. Stop playing with me. All right, I think I've done everything in the city. It's time to do the only thing that's actually fun. I'm about to jump this bitch. Ooh. Damn. Oh, the bus? The bus? The bus? Oh, 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 I almost died. Uh oh, ow, I'm jumping it. Bitch, there she is. I think we're just gonna go a little bit longer. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh, yeah, I think that's enough. Yeah, Columbus. The city, you fucking suck. I'm gonna go head down to Hawking Hills. So we're gonna camp out for tonight and get up tomorrow and explore Hawking Hills of Ohio. What is up with you and your fucking traffic lights at random? I was just doing 60 fucking five cruising. Why, why am I stopped? Why, oh. Two cars, two cars just had to go. Oh, he turned left. Oh, and he turned right. I'm so fucking glad that there was a stoplight so they could safely get across. I'm about to have negative five MPGs because some dumb fuck wanted to put a stoplight on a goddamn highway. I need to chill out. I need to chill out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to chill out. I don't know, Columbus just, I don't know. I didn't look, and there's another fucking stoplight. There's another one. There's a fucking another one. Why? Why? What's up, guys? We're back with the, the YouTube vlog. Alright, I'm not doing that. We're 30 minutes away from Hawking Hills right now. Uh, can you guess where I'm staying? That's right. And we're actually right next to the Ohio, the Ohio thrift store. Well, I went to the thrift store. I got snacks. So I just went to the Planet Fitness, you know, took a shower and everything, and I was informed that I might get kicked out of this lot tonight. I found on freecampsites.net that there's a tractor supply in Logan that I can camp at. So we're gonna go there for the night. We are at, oh, where is it? Tractor Supply Co. And I was kind of surprised. The drive up here was actually very nice looking. Besides for those those traffic light stops and some dickhead uh, was brake checking me because I was going 55 in a 55. I don't know, he's in a big truck and he probably has a very small cock. You know, even though I have recorded a lot, there's still a lot of other things that you guys just can't really get to experience unless it's in person. But I gotta say, Ohio 
is a shithole. <laughs> it's full of white trash and fat people. There is some good in it. There's some cool things to do here. And now that since we've toured all the cities, it's finally time to see something beautiful. So that was a really cool experience and a free one at that. I didn't have to pay anything. But sadly, I'm living in this motorhome. And that means I've been cooking, cleaning, dishes, pissing, brushing my teeth in here. And my tanks are full. So I gotta go do grown up stuff and empty my tanks. Exploring the whole state of Ohio. It's my oh. first, first dump. So. Uh, <laughs> by yourself? Yeah. How oh, cool. Dude, I was pumping it like a manual well, and you just gotta turn it up. I didn't realize that, and I was pumping it for like five minutes. Everybody really liked that I was recording myself dumping and filling up. But now we're all good. We're all fresh, all empty, got some water. And we're gonna head out of Hawking Hills. I still could have went to Ash Cave, which is another part of Hawking Hills that I didn't see. But they're closed today and I have nowhere to camp. And there's no walk-ins for this RV place that I'm at. So I can't camp anywhere. I'm gonna head down to this Planet Fitness that is towards Cincinnati. And then tomorrow we're going to wake up and go into Cincinnati and hopefully leave Ohio after that. And tomorrow's my birthday, so that's going to be my birthday present to myself. <laughs> 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 Look what street I'm on, guys. Is this the street for your mom? Well... <sighs> Something bad happened. I forgot to put my bonsai back. Oh. All of my white clothes. Oh. You think he's okay? I just shook out probably my entire wardrobe. And if you're wondering why my drawer was there, I was messing with my electrical earlier and never closed it. I think there's potential here. We can get him back. We can get him back. Oh, my, there's so much dirt in my fucking carpet now. Oh my god. He's back. I put as much dirt as I can in there. Or at least that I had. It's all cleaned up. A little annoying, but my dinner's ready. I'm gonna go work out, shower. So you guys know how I quite literally just filled up in water? I leaked the full tank. I think I know what caused it. Yep. It's this fucking thing. What, whatever reason this is here, it's leaking. I thought it was like a pee hole to indicate that you're full when you fill your water up. But that's what this is. I don't even know where this goes in my tank. I'm just dripping everywhere. And I think it was clogged before, so it wasn't leaking. And I just filled up yeah, I might have video of it, but I hosed down over here, and I think whatever's clogged in there cleaned up. Yep, that sucks. 
It's currently the morning, next day, and it's actually my birthday. Yippee! But we gotta fix this. I found out what it was. So for some reason, this water tank just has a tube that kind of just drains out, or it's a drain tube. I think there's supposed to be a plug in the outside to prevent that from happening, but it looks pretty rough on the outside, so I'm gonna try and add a uh, valve fucking something right there. Now all I'm about to do is recreate this hose with a new one, because you can see how dirty that is, and I'm just gonna put a valve right there. Got my remanufactured hose. That's gonna clamp on there. This stops the flow. I think we're all good. That's connected, you can't really see that well, but that is connected to my main tank. Actually, my main tank's right there. You can see it's connected. Valve should be closed off. And it's actually pinched really badly right there, but it is connected. In case I ever do wanna drain it, I can hook all that up properly. And I think we should be good. The water's right there. And I think it's free. Water's coming in. There we go, we're filling up. Should be all good now, we're back in business. Uh, next time I see you guys is in Cincinnati. So we have arrived in Cincinnati and already I am getting a lot better vibe about this place. It feels like an actual city. There was a lot of cool murals when I was driving in here that we're probably gonna check out a lot of. But right now I'm about to go ahead downtown. Ooh, look at that shot. I'm about to go ahead downtown and just see what's up. And then we'll start going to the more known tourist attractions and stuff that's like, you're meant to go see. Found our first one. All are welcome, dignity for all, accessibility for all. They got a really cool, I don't know what that is. I think it's a church. That's a really cool building. Might have to go check that out later. So we got our first park, it's the Payat Park. And right in front of it is a Presbyterian church. Really cool Look, I'm gonna get a better view from across the street. Ooh, and we got Ohio's first president here. And then there's the church. And here is the park. We got somebody. These dudes are just chilling over here. There's plenty of people hanging out around here. I think we see another mural down there. Yeah, it looks like we just got some birds. Some cool little flowers too. So it looks like I made it downtown. They got a nice little bar up by the park. Some dude preaching over here. He's talking about God. I feel like they got seating for everyone. This is the people of Cincinnati. Is there money in it? Mm. Shit, it looks like we got a band setting up right here. Maybe I can catch them performing soon. Looks like we got another market down there, or park, something. It just says nada. I'm gonna check it out, see what it is. Hi. Uh, is this just a restaurant? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, I'm just exploring. <laughs> you guys got a cool outside. Is there any good spots around here? Uh, what you looking for? Just exploring, Poking just around. something cool, um, yeah. We got Riverfront right down there, about a couple blocks that way, it's really fun. It's a gorgeous little walkway. Okay. Um, Cotton Square is literally right there. That's a fun little yeah, thing out there. Yeah, I was watch. just there. That was pretty cool. Is there a show going on? Probably. So yeah, over the run is like right up here. And there's like just a bunch of like fun like restaurants, more casual dining as well. So if you're into that kind of vibe, nothing. <laughs> uh, as again, as I said, the front is right down here. It's a really long walkway from like this all the way down to like over here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, do you guys have a bathroom I can use real quick? Yeah, I'll be right upstairs behind the bar on your right. All right, sweet, thank you. This is a sweet little place. Just acquired a side quest. We're gonna go to Riverwalk and then Finlay Market. I think I broke my drone. It turns on fine. Let's see if it'll stay on. But once I actually start flying, it'll go up like three feet and then just drop. And I think I crashed it at Hawking Hills and it landed like that in some water. So I'm gonna go home and put in some rice. But for now, we're still on foot. It, but the only problem is it is 5.30. It's a 13 minute car ride away. And I don't have a car. But there's some scooters right there. If I can get there in time, I can maybe get something to cook for tonight. What's your name? My name is Connor. Keontre. <laughs> Carter. <laughs> We saw football stars, and you like to play fall guys on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's what y'all be doing? Yep. You grew up here your whole life? Well, I like to play 30 day, day, e 24 too. Okay. You said what? You grew up your whole life here? Uh, nah. Nah? No. You like around here? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. You ever been here? Yeah, yeah I've been here many times to get some chicken wings and wings. I <laughs> made a YouTuber in my life! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> right, I'll see how you all. spell Jacoby? Uh, J-A-K-O-B-E. Okay. Yeah. Alright, be safe, y'all. Uh, we made it. We got 20 minutes left. Let's go find something. Oh my, there ain't nobody in here. Fuck, and I think all the places are closed. 20 minutes did not matter. Ooh, there's lobster. Yeah, I'm just trying to look for something to make tonight. How much would it be for one Wagyu steak? Okay, and that's a burger? Yes. Oh, okay. Fuck, I don't got buns. Yeah, I didn't really see nothing. I think everything was really closed. There's that one place with a burger. I don't really want a burger. I still gotta eat for today. So, uh, let's go get a cigar. How's this little thing? Uh, it's nice. It's uh, 20 minutes smoke. Okay, I'll do that. Just turn 22. In case you're trying to record me to get me a... <laughs> enhanced chauffeur's license, cool. Mm -hmm. Do you have a cutter or should I cut it for you? Uh, do you guys have um, V cuts? I do have a V cut, yes. How much is that? 350. Oh yeah, I'll get that. So that was a cool little shop. I asked him what else there is to do around here after six. He said it turns into a ghost town. And everything that I told him I already did is basically all there is to do. I mean, there's still these little murals. And they're just littered around the city. So maybe we'll see some. Uh, I do want to go to the Washington Park. I think that's the name of it. And I still need food. 
So I'm gonna try and find a local spot, grab some food, and maybe chill out by the park. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the popcorn chicken, and then what's the, uh, what fries do you got? It's, uh, I think it's like Toro fries or something. Do you guys do uh, birthday discounts? Do you guys do birthday discounts? No. So no, okay. Your birthday today? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. I can give you a table Okay. Okay, okay. Sweet, thank you. Holy shit. It is a ghost town after five. What the fuck? Or six. You guys doing a music video? Yeah. Yeah. You guys from around here? Yeah. What's this man? Really? What's How long you been here? Uh, I've been here pretty much all my life. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. It's Are you there. visiting? You living here now? Uh, no. Well, technically, I got a motorhome. Oh, but I'm. I just traveled all around Ohio. This is my last stop. Oh, so really? I'm just checking it out. Yeah. I was just curious what you guys are doing, just checking everything out. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. You too. I hope this is good. It's unique. It's good. Man, they're playing Mario. They want me to get freaky. Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume. How do I shoot this bitch? Make up on a shirt. You don't believe his Boom. stories. You know that there are. That was actually a really cool park, and that chicken was good, but it just the way it looked like put me off so wrong. But if you guys remember, that band was setting up uh, like shit like two hours, three hours ago now. I'm gonna walk back down there, and if nothing's going on, we're gone. Dude, this mural is fucking sweet. The Star Wars, the Toy Story, what was that? The, the Ghostbusters, Batman. That's a cool ass mural. Found another one. It's a sheep, rabbit, what is that? Fish? Snails? I think I hear music. There's something going on down there. So here's Carryisms in the vein of Mr. Magic. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
that that is going to conclude Ohio. It was uh, overall, it was interesting. It was a little boring at first. Cedar Point's cool. Cleveland was okay. Columbus was pretty boring. Uh, Hawking Hills was very cool. You guys should go definitely check that out if you got the time. And then Cincinnati was Cincinnati was definitely the best. It was a really cool city. Cincinnati, I feel like there was more. No, there definitely was more to Cincinnati to explore, but honestly, I was kind of just done with Ohio, and I don't think it was really worth a full day of exploring. And I'm sorry about my drone. I fucking crashed in Hawking Hills. I couldn't get any drone shots for you guys. But yeah, overall, Ohio, is a, it's an interesting place. There's a, re there's a reason everybody doesn't like Ohio. But there is some, some good parts of it, that's for sure. And now, after this, we're gonna go to Kentucky. And I just realized something. Today was my birthday, and I didn't even do anything to celebrate it. Well, actually, yeah. My, my birthday present was that I got to leave Ohio. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video. It's a rich, I give a fuck. Real nigga, go grill, 10,000, no deal, no single, just me.